Welcome to the bold analysis. Yesterday, the committee that is was planning the swearing in of Kitri Kindiki met around 4 p.m. in the evening. And while in the meeting, they made an attempt to reach out to the deputy president, the former deputy president, Rigedi Geshagwa, so that uh, in, an, in, in um, um, an attempt, probably an attempt, to invite him for the swearing-in ceremony. Contrary, and of course, as expected, the Gedi Geshagwa skipped that event in KCC. And um, as Kenyans were speculating, where is Rigadi? He's reacted to, uh, he's actually made a post this afternoon saying where he was. I want us to review that post. In this video, I'm going to answer two questions. The first one is why he skipped the swearing in. In the second bit, I'll explain what Rigadi goes home with. This photo is what has been shared, and this is what is written. Home, sweet home. Thanking God for the gift of my family, the smell of fresh grass, sounds of chipping birds, is what a happy family needs. I remain forever grateful to God for giving me a loving and supportive family. We are happy to be home where I was born and brought up. I can't wait for the morning to take my walk in Hombe Forest, enjoy the beautiful scenery of Mount Kenya as I thank God for his kindness. God bless Kenya. From where I was born in Nyanza, there is a say that says ni gimaliet nyakachen morobed mangech to mean everything that is hot must one day be cold. And I think this is what yes, Rigadi acknowledges. This post has, was just done 44 minutes ago and it has 13,000 comments. And one thing, if you go through the comments, people and of course, um, quite a number of um, followers there are sympathizing with the deputy, the former deputy president, Rigadi Geshagwa. That post is um, very clear. What is Rigadi saying there? Number one, he signals no fight with Kenya, no fight with the router. And I can, I can, um, I can, if I have a range, if I can be next to Rigede Geshagwa, first, I would ask, just, just withdraw all the cases on that impeachment. Don't go to Court of Appeal. Don't go to Supreme Court. And my answer is this. Withdraw all those cases. The judges that are supposed to hear the cases, the conduct of the judges that are supposed to hear the cases, it's those judiciary has sanitized that impeachment as shambolic as it was. And it's good to say, don't go fight. Because, and I can tell Rugadi, you can be in court fighting for your political rights because impeachment puts a closure on political rights. But the Ruto administration and the Mount Kenya leaders will be mobilized to hit Rugadi that Rigadi is fighting his younger brother. And that they will say 
that you believe that you are the only person who can be a deputy president. So you are not happy because Kidiki is the deputy president. No one will understand that you are fighting for your rights. In fact, many will see it, others will see it differently. That's number one. Let's, um, the second bit is the mention of Hombe Forest and Mount Kenya. Said, I will take time. Now visit Hombe Forest, Mount Kenya. The last time Rigedi was visiting that area, that forest, I think mountain, going there, he was praying for the mountain. He was praying for rainfall. The same tool that was used to send him away from government is the tool he's picked. If you've been chased because you are overexcited with Mount Kenya, then what he seemed to have decided, let me go back to Mount Kenya. And what he's signaling here is he's going to consolidate the grassroots network. I may not be shocked to see it again in 2027, really uh, being a voice there. Um, then the decision of going to Nyeri was also made over the security withdrawal. It's also safe, yes, to go to Nyeri because, of course, after that, uh, conservative orders were lifted. All the security details that were attached under him as the deputy president were actually scratched. What I don't know is, but, but, uh, but of course now with the impeachment, he cannot benefit, he cannot get his benefits unless some local arrangement is made. But I, I don't really think, even if he's going, to, he's going to be given benefits, then those are just going to be traps because it's just against the constitution. Beyond politics, family comes first. Yes. Beyond politics, family comes first. All the charge seats, that fake charge sheet that was procured and handed over to Mutusi, who is, what is his name? I don't even know his name, that gentleman. It was all centered on his family. That company, that company, you know, that child, that son, that. So he's also telling us here that beyond politics, family comes first. Now, let's answer these two questions. Let's start with the first one. Why did Rigetti skip the swearing in? Why did he skip the swearing in? And him, um, him skipping the swearing in, to me, is a very good, it was, um, it was in the right thing to do. Because of, number one, can you listen to this speech by President Ruto? I, I'll play it shortly. President Ruto was sending jabs at Rigadi and ridicule, you know. And, and to be honest, I think as much as Rigadi is going home, he deserves his flowers. I think, not us, but for the Kenya Kwanzaa administration, for William Ruto. He needed someone to abuse and insult Uhuru Kenyatta and do everything about Raila Odinga and Rigadi was the gun for hire. Yeah, quite a very wrong president though, but, but that is how politics is, so we have to acknowledge that is it. So, of course, letters were sent and he allowed, he told his, not he allowed, he told his staff to attend. Yeah, when I was just speaking to one, it's funny, to attend. So, wow, I ended. And I've heard Kindiki speaking about continuity. That should be the spirit. If the fellows that were working with the deputy president, Gede Geshekwa, now Gede Geshekwa is home. I like that photo. He's home. He's not home with any politician. He's not home with any personal staff from Arambe Annex. He's home with his family. So the person who has been impeached is the deputy president. It's a very clear message to the president that don't fire the good Kenyans that were working in the office of the deputy president. Those are Kenyans. 
the deputy president, the former deputy president, Rigeti Keshagwa, could can be able to service his loans, maybe. Huko, there are people who are working there who are fending for their families, and they're innocent Kenyans. I've seen a trivial list of that 70% come from Mount Kenya. But we should not fire people who are working in that office simply because we've chased Rigeti Keshagwa. If you see the photo in Madeira, the photo of Rigadi in Madeira, you'll see only the guy there with his family. You've not seen the other fellows that work with him in Annabelle's annex. So I think it was to avoid those mocking and ridicule. Because that was going to be the order of the day. Now the other second thing is if Rigadi would have um, attended, he would have legitimized the process. He would have legitimized it. I, I wanted to play for your soundbite from Nyeri. I think I saw it. Huh? I didn't play it in the other video. Let, let me play it here. You see what people are saying. Kawa huu ama eneo hili la Mankuli lilikuwa ni moja kati ya maeneo ambayo mwaka wa 1222 tarehe 13 Septemba eh, wakazi wa kaunti hii walikuwa wamejaza na pomoni eh, kufuatia matukio ambayo yalikuwa kwenye eh, kasarani huo wakati ikiwa ni wakati ambapo naibu rais ambaye sasa ameondoka Regadhi Gashagwa alikuwa anaapishwa lakini kwa leo taswira ni tofauti mkaa wenyewe haujakuwa kuna watu wengi ambao walikuwa wanafuatilia matukio ya kule kea ICC ishara tu ya eh, hali ilivyo hapa katika kaunti ya Nyeri ya kuwa wakazi wengi hawajarithika na yale ambao yamekuwa ya kiendelea eh, huko Nairobi na hii ndiyo tasura imekuwa ndani ya maeneo mengi ya Mankuli uh, uhaba tu wa watu ingawa leo ni siku ambayo ilikuwa ni public holiday kwa wakenya wengi na nataka nianze kuzungumza na kati ya wakazi ambao wamefika mama uanze kwa majina utuambie unaitwa nani alafu utuambie uh, wewe umeweza kufuata eh, hafla ya kumwapisha kithure kindiki kama naibu rais kwa majina yangu naitwa Lucy Karaja mkaji wa huku eneo la Nyeri mimi hata sijaifuata hata sijafurahia hata kidogo Ehe. sisi wakaji wa Nyeri hatujafurahia lakini hakuna kitu tunayesafanya imesaa tedeka imetedeka lakini hapa watu wa Nyeri hatujafurahia hata kidogo mm -hmm. na, na pengine sasa kuanzia sasa mtaweza kumtizama kithure kindiki kama kiongozi wa hapa eneo la mlima Kenya Ah italigana sasa hii nyo zetu ziko tukwa ligadhi gasagwa huyo ndio deputy wetu saa hii lakini hiyo ingine ikijileta hiyo ingine itajileta sasa hii tuweze sema kidiki ndio deputy wetu hapa nyeri eh. atuwe sema hivyo eh, eh. mm. haya asante acha nizungumze na huyu mfanyabiashara mwingine mwendesha taxi kwa majina alafu utuambie eh, wewe umeweza kufuata sherehe ya kumwapisha kithure kindiki na pengine maoni yako kama mkazi ni epi ah mimi naitwa mbao taxi driver nyeri sikufurahia hiyo mambo lakini nimekubali lakini hatutasahau. Iko na vidoda kwenye kwenye roho zetu. Tutagojea lakini tutafanya kazi na serikali. Hatusemi ati tuko nje ya serikali kwa maana tumefurutwa nje. Hapana, sisi tutaendelea tu na tutamuunga mkono kitu 50%. Eh. Na, na pengine mngependa Rigadhi Gashagwa endelee kutafuta haki mahakamani? Kabisa, hata ikiwa ni miaka tano, aendelee. Mm -hmm. Eh. Na asante wacha nizungumze na mwingine hapa eh, ndugu Madhenge tulikuwa na yeye majira ya asubuhi katuambia kwamba utaweza kuendelea kutizama yanayojiri ya kule KICC umeweza kufuatilia hisia zako ni zipi kufikia wakati huu Mimi nimefuatilia bwana Kamau na kama saa hii nimeona usiniona la wazetu zimeinama lakini sikusema hatujakubaliana na wao juu hiyo kiti cha tedeka sasa tunamngoba rais na naibu wake sasa watufanyie kazi ile kazi waliwambia, ile kazi wametuambia tutufanyia. Ile kazi ilianzia huku nyeli ya bae jafanywa. Tunataka sawa watumalizie. Lakini, atusemi ya te kiongozi wetu, wetu siyo rikadhi. Kiongozi wetu hapa Mount Kenya region, tunasema ni rikadhi kashagua. Ikivika hiyo mwaka, tutashagua, sisi tutajua venye tutafanya. Lakini saa hii, tunafuata serikali, tukwa dani ya serikali, hatutoki hapo. Na, na umeza kusikia raisa kiseba kwa mba Abra, uh, Professor Abraham Kithure kindiki ambaye ni naibu raisu wa sasa, atakuwa analeta ule ujuzi ambao eh, raisa amekuwa kikosa kwa miaka miwili ambayo imepita. Jee, una, una maunigani kuhusu semi hizi za rais? Mi raisi ni meona, kama ya mwenyewe, ata kwa wakati ya lichagua, ligadega shagua, venya miongea leo ni kama wakua pamoja. Alimuchagua juu ya pesa, juu ya mobilization ya watu, juu ameonekana kusema miaka miwili iliyopita hakuna kitu amefanya lakini sasa hii atafanya so tunaona from the word go kwa kianzia pale hawakuwa pamoja lakini walijivisha saa hii rais tunakuomba tafadhali kama mko na kidiki pamoja usijivishe sema ukweli 
mufanya kazi, mutufanyia kazi, tuko tayali, tuko dani ya serikali ya tazisi. So, there are Kenyans from different sides of the country are speaking differently about it. And there are mixed reactions in terms of whether this is the right thing and this and that. Kenyans are reacting about it. So, if Rigadi would have gone there, he would have legitimized. In fact, um, Ndonekana, amekubali, ni mzuri. You know, he would have legitimized both from the judiciary to the Senate to the National Assembly. The handover was also not very smooth. There is a question, and this is key, that most of you ask. What does Regadi Geshagwa go home with? What does Luso, what does Ruto lose from Regadi Geshagwa? It will be better to answer that question by answering what did he gain from having Regadi Geshagwa? And whatever is losing from Regadi, will Kindiki be able to replace it? Kindiki is going to make as a very good loyal deputy president a yes sir that Ruto needed. Ruto needed a yes sir. So he's going to get a yes sir man in Kindiki. But what does Regadi go home with in Madeira when he goes to Madeira? Let's look at this list. Number one, Uda Mount Kenya chapter is dead. Uda Mount Kenya chapter is dead. I have seen Hassan Omar running with some <laughs> with ta taxpayers' money under something of Uda Comrades chapter moving from universities. Mount Kenya, UDA chapter, UDA party was large in Rift Valley in Mount Kenya. I've seen him only going to Mombasa and then Rift Valley, and I don't know, I think he's here to go to Western. Maybe I hope one day we can get a chance and attend one of those sessions. The regional UDA office, the first and the only one existing UDA office, regional office, is in Nyeri. The guy goes to Nyeri. So, party is even replacing him as a UDA deputy party leader. I don't know whether he can still hold that position. I don't think it's not even responsible for him to hold it. So with Rigadi, um, I, I have to be, let me compare something with Kendeke. Um, when Kendeke stint in the interior, he really is the one cabinet secretary that was not so much interested in the politics of Mount Kenya. Not, not politics. But Gadi, the deputy president, but was a political machinery on UDA party. Yes. So uh, I, I, I believe that you can send Kindiki on political mission, Regadi on a political mission on the party. It's really easy. But Kindiki is not that. So UDA party in Mount Kenya, especially uh, this other side, uh, the Mount Kenya West, is dead. And the will, because the Gedi will choose another party, will choose to form another, join another one. The second thing that the Gedi goes home with is the victim card that William Ruto used in 2022. In 2022, William Ruto used that victim card against Uhuru Kenyatta. And he said that um, Uhuru Kenyatta had betrayed him. So he fell out with Uhuru Kenyatta. And so he went and cried to people of Mulima that they should support him because he supported one of their son who is now who was then supporting Trilo Dinga. After Gen Z protest, Ruto came up with another victim, that I'm a victim of a coup. I'm a victim of an attempted coup. <laughs> eh? I'm a victim of an attempted coup. Now he's even saying, now he's been moving, when he's talking, Rally is saying that government has stalled because of Kisirani's a finance bill in So he has, he's been trying to play a victim card. In 2027, if there is a politician that will have the victim 
kadoni it might not be to the level of Ruto got how Ruto used it in the national arena but Sigadi has the victim card even if it will be from his village or his near county or Mount Kenya West he is going to deny William Ruto William Ruto will not come back the members of the public as a victim but i believe and i strongly advocate for the public to assess leadership <clears throat> from a rational appeal other than emotional appeal that is why i think regarding the impeachment should not get itself should not be a key determinant on how kenyans even people from mount kenya vote on that they, we must really be focusing on the real detail. The other issue that Rigeti goes home with is the church network. Uh, we didn't see much of it. Many of the members of the clergy coalescing around together and around doing this impeachment, but the wife has a big network on that. And secondly, I don't know how the president is going to, he also, you know, he wants to go and sanitize all this in church. We'll call church and pray that you know we've, I don't I don't know like Kindike has been also after prayer someone was saying that this is a government that came through prayer and they believed they were prayer warriors I think someone was saying that network is not so completely out of it Kindiki is not going to Kindiki doesn't have it he's not interested in it the guy was more inclined to it remember the suppose that Kindiki is Dr. Doctor from the University of Nairobi, in the University of Nairobi, who does not really belong to that area. So the church network is gone. Lastly, two things are also gone. Kenyatta antagonism. Yeah. Regadi was supposed to be the man to, if that was to be revived, to be maintained. Regadi was to be the one to be maintained that. And lastly, I think, if I've seen the speech by Cecil Barire, the Embu governor, talking about, and some leaders from Embu Meru, I think that was Embu governor Barire. I've also seen uh, uh, the governor, my friend from Meru, Kawira Mongaza, my client rather, um, um, and Tharakaniti, leaders from Tharakaniti, talking about Mount Kenya East. They're the ones talking about it. If they're not careful, Regadi will go to Mount Kenya West. The more they keep on repeating Mount Kenya East, Regadi will go to Mount Kenya West. But tactically, uh, the political matrix for 2027 is still very complicated, both for Ruto and Regadi. One has state power, one has a tool to take to the people. Thank you. These are the three houses that were built in Nyandarwa. This first one is Penina Nyambura. This was um, Uyu Ndio Shosh, Pekeake. And let me just tell you how we provided solutions there. Uyu Uyu Shamba, Uyu Uyu Shamba, Likuwa Pewa, yes. They were given those allotment letters. But apparently Nyumba Alijengewa Ilishanguka. So the grandchildren they were kuwa nyumba zao zilikuwa ziko hapo. So she was she was just using a makeshift structure. Now what would happen is when the grandchildren come, Alisema she feels unsafe or she feels like anawafinyilia. Now she has to leave and go back to that kitchen, which is now the house in Nyankwa Mejengewa. So this house we built for Nyambura, she will use it alone. Peke yake. And she was very happy. And may God bless you. Now, um, that is Penina Nyambura. This house, this other one is Alice Kamande. But then apparently Alice had gone to six, she told us. Gone to six. Some, uh, there is only one, Yule Munyimona Pale, Tulikuwa na Yeye. I think I showed her in the video. But the others are wako there. And uh, what she could not directly say, but we also, we also gathered to come alcohol and illicit brew. It's a big problem. So she's also gotten that place. Malikuwa na lala ni kwa kanyumba kingiri katogo ya mbao. And it was also destroyed. So she's got another one. And then the last one is Mze Njuguna Munyu. Munyu, yeah. Njuguna Munyu. This one here. Yeye pia anaishi peke yake actually in that home. Yes, anaishi peke yake. 
and uh, she was uh, not, not she he was telling me yeye ndiye alikuwa anambia hana cho yeah so I, I, I tried telling some people there nimeona huko America Stima at least the local community sasa wale ambao the MCA there they are trying to get contact our jenge mzee show ajenge mzee cho yeah na pia ikiwa maji so that mzee apate usaidizi but if one of you will be willing i can be able to directly link you so that naweza jenge mzee cho yeah hiyo ndio shida pekee sasa ya baki nayo but um, of the house he's gotten a house and thank you we've made an impact that for sure guys i can tell you we've really really made good impact if you want to partner with granny care in future the number is there and i want to tell you granny care is the symbolic the flagship project of the bold network i got willing we are going to register it to a full foundation we are in that process but granny care is our project now so this is a project that will move across different counties we've done kilifi we've been to kisumu now we are in Nyandarwa. we will go somewhere else but if you want to partner with us and know more about contact us and you can continue supporting hata kama unataka kujenga ingine ya kilifi uliona you can still reach out you can still link and build another one if you want to support someone else now that is the problem